All right, I'm going to go over uh, gearing yourself and your companion in this and what to do when you hit level 10. Uh, at level 10 is when you can choose an advanced class. It's irreversible. If you choose, let's say you're a Sith warrior, it's a very popular class. Uh, let's say you choose to be a Sith Marauder. You cannot later change your mind and say, no, I want to be a Juggernaut. If you choose Juggernaut, you cannot uh, in the future say, yeah, I don't like this, I'm going to go Marauder. It's a permanent choice. So, got to think carefully about that. We'll assume uh, Marauder, since that's uh, very popular. The dual wield saber is really cool. So, I believe this is where you will end up when you take the shuttle from Korriban. It's been a long time since I left Korriban on any character. And the shuttle would not let me come to fleet. I tried to do it. I went to Korriban. I tried to take the shuttle. It would only allow me to go to the Korriban orbital station or my ship. It didn't let me come here. I think this is where it will leave you off. However, if you find yourself lost, this is what it looks like. And to the right is the elevator. However, the map can help you. If you're lost, and you probably will be lost your first time on fleet, it's kind of a mess. You open the map. I just click that button at the lower left of the mini-map, and it shows me where I am. Now I can run my mouse over it. I have the magnifying glass enabled in the lower left of the map window. I always keep that clicked on. And I just look around. I see there's nothing here. These are just the objects in the room. Pretty cool to look at if you like. Uh, but there is this yellow icon here. It's the elevator. It tells me elevator to main level. So I know that's how I'm going to get the hell out of this place. And that is what I'm going to do now. That, by the way, goes to Hutta, where the Imperial Agents and the Bounty Hunters begin. There's our Korriban shuttle. So, go up to the main level. And we're in the chaos of the fleet. So now where the hell do you go? Depends on what you want to do. Before we move here, I'll go over your advanced class a little bit. When you choose it, you will get a, uh, a small bag, so to speak, that will appear in your inventory. That is on your that top bar on your screen, all those little icons up there, that little box, second from the left, the little open box. I click that, it opens my inventory. There's three tabs at the bottom. It may be just in the regular inventory area. Uh, so like I said, this has been a long time. It may be in mission items. may end up in here. It will be a little bag that you click to open, and it will have a few pieces of equipment that are uh, appropriate for your advanced class choice. You'll probably get an offhand saber if you choose to go Marauder. If you choose to go Juggernaut, you will probably get a focus and a shield. Uh, they are, the shield is for the Juggernaut tank, and the, D and the DPS Juggernaut uses the focus. However, you should look for that after you choose your advanced class. It will give you a little equipment. Now that you're here, what they're telling you to do at this point, the story is directing you to go to Dromenkos. Before you do that, though, I hope that you will have saved up basic commendations from your questing on Korriban. They now become very useful, because this is where you can get gear. Every planet from here on out will have vendors that sell uh, modifications gear. Um, on the starter planets, there are very poor vendors. They're really crappy. And the vendor I'm about to show you rightfully should be on the starter planet. They are vendors that sell a modifiable and adaptable set of gear for your class. It's level 7. It should be on the starter planet. Now you can come here, I believe, at level 7, but most people are so confused they don't know how to get the hell out of here, they don't know how to get back, they don't know they can come here in the first place, and even when they're here they don't know how the hell to find this vendor. So I'm going to show you how to find this. I just came out of the uh, elevator from the Korriban shuttle. I'm going to open the map. Now, in the lower right, <coughs> I'm going to make sure that I have vendors selected. Lower left, excuse me. So now we'll display icons for the vendors. And there's a lot of them. I know it's in the upper left, 
but you won't. So what you can just do is put your mouse over all these little icons and it's going to tell you what they are. For the level 8 characters, for new characters, level 10, just leaving Korriban, it's actually in the upper left of the map. And there it is. Level 7 equipment vendor. That's where we want to go. And this is, and we're over here actually but at least that, this gives you some idea. I wish it were clearly marked for people where you are on the map. You should, I think you should be green or yellow, or very bright yellow, something different, red, I don't know. Uh, people very often can't even find themselves in these damn maps. So I'm going to take you over there. If you've got a mount already at level 10, you can use a mount in here. You can actually open the map while you're running, if you want. Now I know we turn down here. Now I'm here, and we're going there. And here he is. You do not want this guy. Take a look at the stock. He sells some crappy jackets. Appreciate this the is the one you want. What can I get for you? There's six commendations each. They're modifiable gear. You can keep adding modifications to this as you level. If you want to keep that gear, I would not throw it away by any means. You can get other modifiable gear as you level too many gear has level restrictions and you won't be able to equip it before a certain level. The other thing with gear is you want to make sure that it is appropriate to your class. They do help you out here and that they will not allow you... See how this is dark? Let me put it this way. This here is gear for juggernauts and marauders. All right. I go down here and I get other stuff. This is uh, for bounty hunters. And it's dark. It means I can't equip it. So don't buy it. It might allow you to buy it, although it's not telling me I have the commendations. It might not tell me, it might prevent me from buying it, which would be a good move because news people, they just don't know. You can't, they have no experience. So if I go up here, it shows me I do have the commendations and it's allowing me to buy the gear. I actually have that mask. I like that mask. Things will not always be this simple, however. You will want to make sure it has the right stats. If you're going to buy from the GTN or someplace else that does not do this for you, does not highlight the appropriate gear, I use willpower as an inquisitor. And if I mouse over, you can see that inside the modifications have willpower on them. I want to mouse over ones that I cannot buy here and they have strength and that's what you need. If you're a marauder you want modifications that have strength on them. Armorings and mods and hilts for your saber that have strength on them. You want more strength than endurance if you're in a DPS class, a DPS uh, discipline. That's something else. The main thing is, you want to make sure that you get gear that has strength on it. If you don't, you're really, really gimping yourself. Come back anytime. The same thing will go for your companion. Your companion has stats too. And you will have to gear your companion as you level. Your companion will become progressively and progressively weaker and absolutely useless to you. So this is what I would want someone to do before they even go to Dromen Kass. I want you to come to this vendor and get this equipment. And if needed, we can have somebody help you to get more commendations so you can get this stuff. 
and I'll do the next video, I'll go a little bit more into the stats and what to do for your companion and how to get to Dromenkos.